Hello and welcome to the Hawker Help Desk. I'm Kelly Royer with American Business Development Group representing Enersys, the manufacturer of Hawker batteries. Hey, has this ever happened to you? You got a charger, you got it hooked up to your battery, you flip the switch, and well, nothing happens. In this episode, I'm going to talk to you about how to charge your battery using a charger that has a low voltage initiation sensor. A lot of modern chargers have this safety feature built in. It's a great feature. It prevents you from accidentally shocking yourself. The problem is, is that most people that have them don't even know that they do. What it basically does is it sends a sensor down to the battery, checking to see if there's voltage between the terminals. If it doesn't sense any voltage, the charger never turns on. And to further complicate things, that setting is different between manufacturers. In fact, it could be different among one manufacturer's product line. So how do you know if your charger has that safety feature built in? Well, check the owner's manual. The other thing you can do is contact the manufacturer. You're also going to want to make sure that whatever charger you use is designed for use with AGM style of batteries. We highly recommend that you use a charger that's got a constant voltage and that the charger's output be not more than 15 volts for a single battery or no more than 30 volts for batteries wired in series or series parallel. So how do you get a charger that has a low voltage sensor to identify that low voltage battery? Well, it's pretty simple. All you simply do is grab yourself a set of jumper cables. Then what you do is you take that red clamp and you attach it to that deeply discharged battery's positive post. Take the other end of that cable and you're going to want to attach that to a charged battery's positive post. Likewise, do the same thing with the black clamp. And then the other side of that you're going to want to attach to that charged battery's negative post. And then turn the charger on. Immediately it will go to this battery, but it won't sense it. It will jump over that parallel connection, sense a battery that has enough volts, and it will turn the charger on. We let that set for about 20 minutes. We can then break that parallel connection. This battery will now have enough volts in it to keep the charger on. Then we just let it go to charge complete. Now a few notes about safety. Always follow your local safety directives. Read and understand the owner's manual. Wear the appropriate personal protective equipment, or PPE and never lean over a battery that is receiving a charge as there's a remote possibility that it could possibly explode. Also be aware of the rotten egg smell as that indicates the likelihood of hydrogen sulfide gas, which can be explosive if there's a spark. And lastly, it's advisable to discontinue charging any battery that is too hot to touch or shows other signs of overheating such as bubbling or a bulging battery case. Well, now you know how to charge low voltage batteries with a charger that has a low voltage initiation sensor. So now you can stop turning in recoverable batteries. If you have any questions or any other battery related issue, please visit us at hawkerbattery.com. While there, check out our one page quarterly newsletter called Hawker Headlines, as well as our complete Hawker Help Desk training series in the video vault. Of course, you can always reach us on the Hawker Hotline at 877 485 one four seven two.